This is uh, $20. I went to America once and I took some money back with me. Don't know if one is allowed to do that, but uh, this is $20. I don't have $100. If I had $100, I would do this with $100. So let's think uh, $20, what can you do with it? Uh, a couple of CDs or DVDs? Yeah, I guess. Not really much, but I wouldn't want somebody to take it away from me. Well, yeah, so let's see what $2,000 looks like. Not so impressive, is it? It's uh, just about that one centimeter high. And what can you do with it? You can buy a really nice computer, or you can buy maybe a hundred books or a hundred movies. So, uh, moving along, let's go and see what a million dollars would look like. So. Right, uh, this is a fair pile of cash, a million dollars. Uh, you see in some movies they have like a briefcase full of a million dollars. I think you can fit, if those were a hundred dollars, you could fit them in a briefcase nicely. A million dollars, what can you do with that? Yeah, you could retire quite nicely in some countries. Um, you buy a fairly nice house, buy a hundred cheap cars. You could just sit on that pile and use it as a chair. Let's go and see what a billion dollars looks like. So, uh, oh, well, that's that's a ten meter high pile of money. That's a pretty substantial amount of money. I mean, it's pretty much more than you would ever need for yourself uh, if you had interest in community projects. I suppose you could find some way to spend it all billion dollars you could probably buy a little suburb with it uh, you could spend it on pretty much more than anything you could ever want for yourself right so let's go and see what 600 billion dollars looks like okay uh, 600 billion dollars it's a bit difficult to imagine what you can spend that on. So let me tell you what we have spent that on. In 2009, that was the amount of money that the US spent on the military. Yeah, to put that into perspective, uh, actually they spent 660 billion, so it was more than that. Uh, China, the next highest expenditure in the world in 2009 spent 98 billion so less than a sixth of that and China has more than double the amount of people so uh, yeah I think that's a little bit excessive in America let's think of uh, some things you can do with 600 billion dollars besides spend it on the military well, I think the first thing I would do is hire somebody a little bit smarter than myself so that they can spend the money a bit better than me. So I've spent maybe a million dollars on the smart guy and I'm, I'm not even going to subtract that from the total because it's so insignificant compared to $660 billion. So let's put it in terms of what would it take to end world hunger. So I looked up on our website and uh, one website suggested it would be $74 billion to end all hunger for a year. $74 billion. Yeah. We can afford that, right? So that's like almost um, that's about, an, about a ninth. $74 billion. Make it a hundred. We're, nice, we're a nice country, aren't we? I think that we should investigate friendly artificial intelligence because if we can figure that out uh, then computers can do all our work for us and we don't need to work anymore. Say a hundred million dollars towards friendly artificial intelligence. I mean that's just that's less than a thousandth. That's like a five thousandth of this money. Okay so I just rounded up to a billion so 559 billion we got left. And we've got the smartest guys in the world looking into friendly artificial intelligence. 
how about we spend a billion dollars testing the Venus project because they've got some pretty cool ideas. $558 billion. What can we do? How about uh, put something into medical research so we can end diseases? So, uh, uh, put half of it in. We'll make it $258 billion into medical research. So we've got what? What do we have now? $300 billion? Just put it into researching better ways to use this money. Put it into researching ideas to make the world a better place, to make a, a sustainable world, to make... <laughs> I mean, gee... Military? I, do people vote in America? I wrote a book called The Mischievous Nerd's Guide to World Domination in which the, the main character, he kind of earns pretty much this kind of money. <laughs> if you want to see my ideas on what you can spend that money on, you can uh, check out my book. It's The Mischievous Nerd's Guide to World Domination. Otherwise, yeah, just send me some ideas on, on why, why a country would think that that's the kind of money you got to put into the military. Ah, oh, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> military is there, like, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but. Primarily for fighting, isn't it? So uh, maybe if they took a hundred billion and put it into making friends, they wouldn't need to spend any more on fighting. Yeah, a hundred billion, you could make some pretty good friends, I think.